Hello fellow hunters and welcome to today's video. I told you the quest for a massive legendary moose will continue, so here we are back in Roosevelt Forest. In terms of preparation, this is for sure one of my most intense videos. The important question is, did I found my monster? Yes, I found one. For those of you who are new to the channel and don't know what I'm talking about, here's a quick explanation. I wanted to upgrade my legendary moose trophy with the specimen over or at least close to 700 kilos. My trophy wasn't bad, weighing 656 kilos, but I know they get heavier. I've seen normal specimen very close to 700, and a legendary moose of that size would be a nice upgrade for the lodge. Because it's a very efficient map for hunting these animals, I focused on Roosevelt Forest and the well-known hotspots in the afternoon time slot. Like I said, this video took quite a lot of preparation. The grind was kind of... insane. I have some numbers for you, so you get a rough idea what I've done in the past weeks. I started at 3 million credits. Approximately 230 moves later, 7 of them were legendary and mature, I ended up with 4 million. All this is based on the average selling price for an animal including the license. So it's not a scientific statistic, more like a rough calculation. I had to visit Roosevelt Forest approximately 700 times and found a moose on roughly every third attempt. Some of the animals you've already seen in my short videos. From 7 mature legendaries, only 2 had a decent size. The other 5 were way too lightweight as you can see in the trophy screens. And visually they all looked absolutely identical. The weight was between 386 and 589 kilos, so probably it's just a randomly generated number in a given range. All 5 animals had the maximum trophy score of 350. So size and weight are no critical factors, it's the age of the animal that matters. When a legendary animal is mature, it automatically gets the highest score and selling price. Everything else is just rolling a dice for numbers. During all the grind I found two upgrades. The first one appeared after about half a million credits and was slightly heavier than my existing trophy. At least a small step in the right direction, I replaced my trophy in the lodge. But at 664 kilos, this moose was still not the monster I was looking for. At this point I decided to cross the line into madness and keep searching until the game generates me a moose as close to 700 kilos as possible. And my endurance should be rewarded, it just needed another 500k credits. At the northeastern hotspot this guy came down the hill. He looked like all the others I hunted before, always the same model no matter what weight is rolled for the animal. The shots were for sure not my best, I just lost a bit of focus during this project. When I returned to the cabin to claim the moose, the game finally gave me what I searched for so long. 695 kilos. I found the monster. In conclusion, I would say it was extremely grindy, but still a lot of fun. Would I recommend to do this? Probably not, unless you like intense projects like this. As you can see in this video, size and weight have absolutely no impact on the trophy score. The stats are just random numbers generated by the game when claiming the animals. If you have a mature trophy with the highest score, be happy and keep it. Visually, there is no difference even if the trophy card shows a lot more kilos. If you really want to hunt for heavyweights, prepare for a lot of grind. It's pure randomness what you get, and the only difference is a number on the scorecard. It can take countless hours, the effort is high and it's not worth it, to be honest. Anyone who hates grind will definitely not enjoy such a project. And now we come to the end of today's video. For questions and feedback leave me a comment below. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave me a like and subscribe. Thank you for your support.